And my daughter just isn't demonstrating the same enthusiasm that her older brother does. And you, and you try to suss out like the nature nurture question. Mm. Cause I feel like I'm doing the same inputs, right? But I'm getting different results and it leads you to wonder, um, you know, it's a very small sample size, but when I talk to other parents, like, you know, parents who are parenting right now, young kids, I just keep encountering other dads who are having the same experience. Mm. And you, it, it really leaves you to wonder sort of like what sort of like cultural influences are going on there where it's like the enthusiasms oftentimes among young girls are not as high as the enthusiasms among boys. And it's hard to Is unpack. It cultural? I don't know. It's hard to unpack everything. Yeah, that's that's my question. It's like at I'll never, your I, I don't kid's know. age, what's, how old are your kids? Well, the two I'm talking about are eight and five. Yeah, man, I don't know how much culture plays a part. I know. Me. I really think that it's, and it's obviously in my small sample group, an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old for the youngest kids, the, uh, the eight-year-old fucking loves it. They're both girls. The 10-year-old, she's like, whatever. Yeah. You know, if I try to wake her up, take her fish, and she'd be like, leave me alone. Yeah. I'm going back to sleep. I'm sure there are parents out there who, you know, I haven't met them yet. Maybe they're out there where they have like a boy and a girl and, and the, the girl's, girl's super fired up and the boy's not. Maybe I it happens. I yeah. guarantee you. It's a, there's, Jamie and I were just talking about this yesterday because I was watching this video of these. There's, I want to try to put this in a respectful way. Um, I think there, and I'm sure you're aware of this. There's people that are in the hunting world, the outdoor industry, that I think are in it because it's a good avenue to get attention if you're like a hot chick. Yeah. If you're a hot chick and you you know you wear pink and you, you go out and shoot things, you take all these grip and grins with deer and like this, you're gonna get a lot of likes. Yeah, because it's, it's like a, imagine the 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 male perspective on it. Yeah. Is like here's the woman who has everything. Exactly. And she likes to hunt. Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> And she likes to hunt. And uh, there's quite a few of them. And it's, uh, it, I was telling Jamie, it's a weird world. Because part of me, I don't want to be a sexist. I don't want to look at these girls. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't look at a guy who hunts and who wants to be a part of the outdoor industry and go, oh, this guy is just doing this because he thinks this is his avenue for fame and success. I think, well, here's a guy who really likes to hunt, and he realizes there's people like Steve Ranella and John Dudley out there and these famous hunters. Man, I want to be a famous hunter. How do I do it? You know, how do I go? Well, I'm going to just start taking Instagram pictures and say a lot of the same shit that they say and sort of, you know, put myself into the cultural norm. I, th I don't think like that with girls. You're like, you just want to have men like you. <laughs> Not all you. <laughs> of them. Not all of them. A lot of them I think are super legit. A lot of them are super, But there's unquestionably this added element in that world. And it, with it, let's be super generous and say it's only 10% of them. Mm -hmm. But that 10%, I'm like, hmm... <laughs> I'm I not, smell a rat. I'm not unaware of what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sure you're not. But no, I notice it. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. I even, yeah, I even had like a. Yeah, I remember it was. Yeah, there's kind of like a, yeah, like a like a like a, like a sex pot kind of yes. huntress scene. You oh know? Yeah. yeah, super made up, full war paint, fake eyelashes, hot as fuck, skin tight clothes, out there shooting shit, taking pictures. Yeah, it's weird. And then you go to their Instagram page. And it's like there's pictures of that, and then there's a lot of pictures with their butt up in the air where they're doing some strange exercise. Getting ready for bow season. Yeah, accentuating their butt. <laughs> like, that's weird. I don't do any of those exercises. I would really like to. Yeah, I know. I would really like my to – because I'm going to continue leaning on my uh, – I'm going to continue leaning on my daughter because uh, I would really like her – I'm going to keep leaning on her until I feel like she's in the at an age where she can legitimately say she doesn't want to go. Right. Because right now, if I asked her every day, hey, you want to go to school? She'd be having a real delinquency problem. So you, 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 you're <laughs> right. like, you know, you're really like, yeah. uh, you, you make kids do stuff. I took her duck hunting a couple weekends ago. It was a cold morning. And we get out there. And before it's even legal light, she's like, felt terrible. She's laying there crying about how cold her feet are. If my boy was doing that i would have a very different attitude about it right than when she's crying her mm. crying because she's cold like made me feel awful 
Right. With my boy, I've been like, shh. <laughs> Suck it up. But with her, I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. She's all cold now. Yeah. And then it makes, and so you really, there, there really is a difference. Yeah, there's, that, there's, a, there's a difference there. And it's not, you know, of the people that buy hunting licenses in this country, 90% of the people that buy hunting, you know, 90% are males. Right. Right. So one in 10 license holders is a woman, but, but then there's, there's more women than men in the, you know, slightly more men, women than men in the country. And there's a ton of ways of explaining it. We talked about it earlier with Neanderthals or maybe Neanderthals didn't have these like divided roles, but in all the hunter, like in hunter gather cultures is very normal to see a division of labor here and to have like that men were out hunting and women were not. There's bunch of explanations for that like people were tied to being home to care for small children and you know couldn't afford that risk right? do some do they vary there are there some women that go out with the hunting parties you know if it is a, you know the minute you say no someone's going to point out to some right variation but in your experience you've you've done several of these trips to these remote jungles Oh yeah, but that's just that's just such a small thing. I mean, you get a, rather than looking at personal experience, just like from kind of exploring the literature and reading about you know historic accounts and what people found and what people do. Uh, it is very much the norm. It is very much the norm that hunting was you know patrilineal descent activity, and all these cultures you go to, you like the cult of the hunter is like a male sort of cult. But the factors that made it that way. Okay, the, sort of the you, you have to assume it comes from some kind of practical factor, right? The factors that made it that way aren't there anymore. Um, and like I said, it's a difficult thing to unpack. If it winds up being that if I, I have two boys and one girl, if it winds up being that uh, both boys become avid hunters and fishermen and somehow my daughter does not, I'll probably view it as some bit of a personal failure, though I'll never know what really was going on. Like I said, it's, mm. hard, it's hard to like unload it. I wish I could have 100 children, like 50 girls and 50 boys, and have a bigger sample size. <laughs> but, 